Thank goodness for Source Stop AIM, otherwise they could have been my fingers. Hello and welcome to Festool TV. My name is Alan. You can see just how quickly the Source Stop AIM activates to help save your fingers from serious injury. To demonstrate this, we have used a hot dog. Looking at the hot dog, there is not a scratch. We hope you will never find yourself in this situation. But if you do, this technology could mean the difference between having a small scratch and having to stop work for 10 minutes or a life-changing injury. The TKS80 has innovative saw stop AIM technology for greater safety while sawing. If the saw blade comes into contact with your skin, it stops immediately and disappears into the work surface. This means that you can concentrate on your work whilst Festool helps protect your most valuable tools, your fingers. In this video, I will refer to SawStop AIM. AIM stands for Active Injury Mitigation. Once SawStop AIM has activated, the blade and cartridge will need replacing to carry on using the saw. To change the blade and cartridge, we need to first switch the TKS off, unplug it from mains, and put on gloves. To change the blade and cartridge, use the two spanners found under the TKS on the right hand side. To release the tools, unscrew the screw, You can take the two spanners out and behind the spanners there is also space to store a spare blade. Next we are going to open the bottom cover. Turn the bottom latch with a spanner and the top latch by hand, turning both anti-clockwise to unlock. There is also space under the TKS on the left hand side to store a spare cartridge. Let's get the cartridge out. Now it's time to remove the cover plate. Insert the open ended spanner into the slot at the top front of the plate and pull forward and place to one side. On the right hand side of the blade, there are two levers. Let's start with the top lever. Pull this lever towards you, turning about 180 degrees. And this unlocks the riving knife, which, which can now be pulled out and placed out the way. Because saw stop AIM has been activated, we need to reset the blade height. Adjust the height dial at the front of the saw, twist the dial to drop the blade. You will feel a little resistance, but keep turning until you can feel the blade click. And then turn the dial to raise the blade all the way up for easy access to this area. Next, we're going to remove the blade. Use the ring spanner to loosen the spindle nut, turning anti-clockwise. And then you can turn the rest by hand. Also removing the flange. Let's now go to the bottom green lever, the cartridge unlocking pin. Turn the pin clockwise until you hear a click. The ring spanner is perfectly designed with a kink to use as a lever to lever off the old blade. You can then pull it and the cartridge off. Sometimes you may need to use the spanner to help loosen the cartridge if you struggle to take it out by hand. 
Now we're going to replace the blade and cartridge. Remember to remove the protective cap on the new cartridge before installing. There are two seating pins that can be used to guide the new cartridge in position and then pushed into place. Reinsert the locking pin, turning anti-clockwise. The new blade can be fitted in place with the writing facing the right of the saw. Fit the flange and spindle nut and hand tighten turning clockwise. You can now use the open spanner to lock the spindle at the back of the blade and the ring spanner to lock the spindle nut in front. The riving knife can be returned into place and locked off, pushing the lever back and down. and then slide the cover plate into the back of the aperture and push the front down. Close the bottom gate and turn the two locks clockwise. The two spanners can be seated back in their home and fixed in position. You are now ready to plug the saw in and switch it on. We will see the starting up sequence of lights with a solid green and flashing red light while Source Stop AIM system initiates and does safety checks. When the system is ready, you will have a solid green light. This indicates that the Source Stop AIM is active and the saw is ready to be used. Now you can work with more confidence using the Festool TKS80 and the innovative Source Stop AIM technology knowing that your most valuable tools are protected. The final step is to use the Festool Order app to get yourself a replacement spare cartridge and blade so that the next time SourceStop AIM protects you, you are ready with a replacement blade and cartridge ready to continue with your next project. My name is Alan. Thank you for watching Festool TV.